So TCW for me is, is, is the place where I can personally help people to really look into the deepest side of them so they can really begin their detox, so they can really begin their rehab, so they can really begin the reflection. You know, I don't train dogs, I train humans, so I wanna make sure that humans live at their purest form. I wanted to make sure that, uh, that, uh, that our last day is special. Um, every day is special, but our last day is almost like, you know, something to remember, and I wanted to make sure that we honor, that we finish with honor. There's three words that I love. Uh, spiritually, spiritually speaking, is honesty, daily loyalty, so honor. I like to honor uh, some, somebody who has really helped me personally, have dogs have helped me my whole entire life growing up in Mexico. Uh, sometimes I didn't have enough friends and the pack of dogs were there. And, and then when I moved to the city, there were always dogs. Uh, when, when I came to America, it's thanks because of dogs, you know, the, the, uh, what I knew a little bit about dogs. And then I started rescuing dogs and people started giving me uh, dogs to walk. And then I got to meet this guy. Then I got to meet this, this incredible soul. And, and, um, and so it's very special, you know? So it's always good to, to honor those who mean a lot to you. Um, I have some special people in my life. One of them is Jada Pinkett Smith. Thanks to her, uh, she paid for somebody so I can speak English. This is the best I have done. So because of, because of her and believing that, uh, that I wanted to, you know, change the world, she sent a teacher for a year. So it's a lot of, a lot of, people and, 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 his, and this, this guy that I always feel the need to honor, always feel the need to uh, keep him very present, even though sometimes, you know, those people that help me are not close to me. And this guy, you know, passed away 10 years ago. And um, yeah, bless Jada for sure. And, and um, just to be grateful, I mean, uh, one way to change your energy and one way or to keep your energy always always in the right place is gratitude, is, 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 you know, gratefulness. A lot of times people say, well, be grateful to be alive. You can also be grateful to, to, to the people that they have done something very special to you or the animals who have done something very special to you. You know, that's the symbols. Those are the things that, that you can remember mentally, emotionally, and just always have access, you know, to when you feel bad, when you feel sad, or when you feel tense, or when you feel anxious. Just have those, those symbols, or have those people, have those memories to always make you, make you go back to calm, confident, love, and joy. The key, the key in life, if you think about it, the key in that connection with, with a dog is to always stay calm, confident, love, and joy, always. And so then the second key is, at the moment that you don't feel calm, confident, love, and joy, what should I do? How do I go back to, to, to my centeredness, to my balance. So, you know, when you have somebody like, like Daddy that has done so much for me, you know, he helped me with the voice, Andre and Calve, he helped me through my divorce, he helped me through growing up and um, raising, you know, the, the business, and it just, just how, the way, the, way, the way he looked at me, the way he looked at me every single day, the way he, he nurtured me back, the way he always gave me a sense of direction, the, old, the way he, um, he lift me back up. It's, you know, to, to raise a business, it's not, an, a, to create a business, a business that didn't exist, it's a lot of work, it's a, it's a lot of ups and downs, it's a lot of times where you feel that you're not gonna make it, it's a lot, you know, but, but same thing with, you know, when, when people are, uh, have a dog problem, they feel like something is wrong with their life, you know, the dog is too aggressive, the dog is too anxious, so to me, it's all metaphor. To me, it's all, it's all about being able to achieve calm, confident, love, and joy in my relationship with humans, and my relationship as a business person, and of course, in my relationship with my animals. So uh, this is the key. The key is how can we humans, no matter where we are in life, money, fame, and power, we always manage to maintain calm, confidence, love, and joy. Very important to to, to the exercise you do, the, pe the activities you do, the people you love, or the animals you love, you know, to, to always get energy back from them. You know, so you can, you can recycle healthy energy or you can create healthy energy.
And uh, today I, I want to bring one of, one of my, my good, I would say that Steve is, um, is a guy that came to the ranch with a special gift. You know, it, it came with, uh, it's almost like if we were an American Idol, he was the guy that needed to be polished uh, so he can actually sing. You know, <laughs> he, he's, uh, he's, he has what it takes. He's a great, 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 great listener, at least to me. I don't know to Cassie, <laughs> but to me, Steve is, is a great, uh, humble, and it has what it takes for me to share knowledge and to help him and to guide him. Uh, he never disrespect, um, never question, is, is a man of honor, is a man of loyalty. All of those things are very important for me in order for, for me to bring people into my pack because I live by the motor code. So anyone who's going to join me in my, in my pack in order for us to be productive for you guys, I need to bring people who believe in the same principles, honesty, integrity, loyalty. Before you lead the pack, you have to be a great follower, right? And so for that, it requires a, a human who knows how to be, stay humble, who knows how to be open-minded, and who knows how to go and go to work, you know, go to war. And Steve is one of those guys, so I, I really want to bring him in because it takes a pack to change the world. It takes one person to trigger, you know, so uh, I'm very happy to, to share uh, again with Michael. You know, Michael also is another, another of those pack members that, that brought his own way of helping me, helping people. And, and so TCW for me is, is, is the place where I can personally help people to really look into the deepest side of them so they can really begin their detox, so they can really begin their rehab, so they can really begin the reflection. You know, I don't train dogs, I train humans, so I wanna make sure the humans live at their purest form, you know, at, at, their, at the most honest form, at the most uh, loyal form, at the most loving form. It, it takes, you know, you have to trust yourself, you have to respect yourself, you have to love yourself, because if you don't function with that fuel, just that's how a dog is gonna perceive you, and that's how you're gonna perceive yourself. So, so in order for us to really achieve happiness, we have to trust ourselves, respect ourselves, love ourselves, and then bring people around us that see us for who we wanna be. They accept us of who we are, you know? And, and, and that, that's just magic. That's just, that's just one of a kind situation. That's, that's why we create communities. We wanna be part of a community that is possible. <laughs> We want to be part of a community that is, that is loving. We want to be part of a community that's respectful. We want to be part of a community that's trusting. Everybody. I mean, I, I don't know any human being who in the right mind doesn't want trust, respect, and love. You know? And so this is why, for me, creating the ranch and having people like Steve and Michael and everybody that work around me, even my own two boys, my own I mean, Calvin and Andre, that's pretty much what I expect for them from them. Uh, pass me a spot. Pass me a spot. Yeah. Yeah. This is the little one. This is a, a guy that is learning, you know, the do's and don'ts. He's been raised by Junior. He's been raised by Benson and, 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 and Alfie. So right now, this is the guy that's creating, like, the whole commotion here. You know? So because, you know, he wants to play. So he's learning about rules, balance, limitations, and at what time do we play. His name is Spot. You know, this guy will rescue him in, in Orlando. Uh, I, jo I joined a, a new business, a, a new business case is about insurance company because, you know, I, I think it's important to make sure that we actually protect our dogs. And we can talk about it another day, but it's something that is, I'm very, very happy because I know how much we love our dogs and I know sometimes, you know, the prices at the vet gets a little bit uh, too much, and, and so that way we're covered. You know, I think it's a, it gives you, a, it gives, it gives us a good peace of mind. And so when I saw that guy in, in Orlando, I said, "You gotta come with us." I mean, you're happy or lucky. You have spots, and I just joined this this new venture uh, with this awesome group of people, and 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 the company is called Spot. So I will let you know more about that. But right now, I just want to make sure that we we protect ourselves, that we give ourselves a good direction, and we give ourselves. Love. This is about us learning to know how we feel, 
to know to honor how we feel and then if we want to make a, a change then we can do it in a conscious way so let's bring steve i want to i want to i want to make sure that they, that we have a good chat with, with my boy can you train my husband <laughs> you know how many times i get that request I get the request of, of, of training husbands. What happened? You don't, believe, you don't believe. You have no idea how often I get, uh, of, uh, you know, my clients. 80% of my clients are women, by the way. 80% of my clients them? are women. And they, and they first start with the dog. Cesar needs you to help me with the dog. And then once they see rules, body limitations, exercise, discipline, affection, calm, confidence, love, and joy, I say, can you do that for my so, husband? So, 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 so. Yeah, look, <laughs> look you, can, you should train my wife. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's another kind of thing. I can do dogs and husbands anytime. But look at that shit. It looks like you're supposed to <laughs> train my husband for sure. Really, I'll totally do that. Really, it's frozen. It's frozen. <laughs> I'll put him on exercise for sure. <laughs> Where's Steve? It's it's kind of oh. taking a bit here. We'll try again. All right, try it again. My wife too. <laughs> Hey, feel free, feel free to practice uh, all the, uh, the formula, the rituals, and the symbols. It's the same. Listen, when my, when my fiancé, when my fiancé knows that I'm about to go, uh, you know, different parts of the world, she always says this to me, no touch, no talk, no eye contact to girls. <laughs> so she, she gives me my formula back. It's like, hey, don't worry about it. I'm in love with you, so you don't have to worry about it. And so, but she always gives me that, that formula, no touch, no talk, no eye contact to, to girls. <laughs> it works, you know? I always practice exercise, discipline, affection. I always practice, that's, that's just how I, take, how I stay, you know, healthy and positive and, and, and just good energy. That's, that's it, body, my heart, you know? It's, to me, it's about having people around that I can trust, that I can respect, that I can love, you know? This, all of that is, it's, you know, making sure people have good instincts, making sure people have good heart, making sure people have good spirit, because that's what I want to give to the dogs, right? So, so once you come to the ranch, you're going to see that the people that I hire, like Philly, like Jaimito, like Kim, Syria, uh, you, you're going to see, this is the people at the ranch. Dana, you, uh, you know, so Aubrey. So this is the people, they, they, uh, Aubrey works like two, two days out of the week, she's part-time, and Dana works one day out of the week. But the whole point is, is the people that I hire, they need to have good instincts, they need to have good heart, and they need to have good spirit. I can teach the other part. I can't really, I can't really uh, uh, help people to have you know, good instincts and good heart and good spirit uh, right from the beginning. I can help people, but I can't really hire people that don't, they're not at a, at a certain level because you know, when people hire me, they expect that. And so I'm very, very happy that whatever I teach, I actually practice, I live it, you know? So, so in Caesar's way, we say, leave it, love it, teach it. And so we live and we love and we teach exercises of perfection, body, mind, heart, rules, by limitation, animal, dog, breed, name, animal, human, race, name. So who you are in the animal world is energy. So, so that is, before I am Caesar Milan, before I am from Mexico, before I am, you know, I have 50 years, before all of that, I am energy. So that gives me a, give me a control of how I want to feel. I can control my energy and I can control what energy you can give me, you know? So that way I am in, 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 in control of only having calm, confident, love and joy friends and calm, confident, love and joy, you know, people that I work with and I want to give that in return. And so, so dogs or animals, they live in that space. So they are surrounded by people. Did you just poo? Oh, damn. Can you pass me a little bit? Yeah, it's a napkin in there. Jesus. Hello. Well, you gotta say, like, excuse me, because you just poo. Come on. Okay, that's very nice. Yeah, it's very nice. This is real. This girl right here, this girl right here, she, when we met the first time, it's right in there, Peter, right in there, yes. When we met the first time, she just came to my chest and she just did that. First time, our first day was like, 
we, we, uh, thank you, dude. Yeah, we, we just trusted each other, and I never had a bird, this, this type of bird. Never had one. I know, I know. Never had a bird like this in my life. She's gorgeous. And she wasn't supposed to stay with us. You know, it was just a, a temporary housing, a temporary housing that we were given because the Malibu fires two years ago, you know? So you were, you were not supposed to come and stay with me forever, but now you are. And I heard you guys live like hundreds of years. Is that true? Yes. And she loves. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She's a great listener. This one I can talk forever to her. And she, she, she looks like she's listening to me the whole time. And she just loves, 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 loves to listen. All right, guys. That's Peter again. But don't worry, Peter will be fired after this. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely not doing a good job today, but it's, I can't control the internet. Rio's so beautiful, I know. She's gorgeous. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, 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 He's shooting again. Yes. <laughs> Finally, what's going on, Caesar's Pack? What's up? <laughs> Is it working now? Fine? Finally? Look at Peter. Hey, working? Hey, when are you going to have different species? Uh, that's next. I'm trying to figure out which ones we can get here first. I think we're going to go get some goats first. That's going to be the first ones we're going to get. Hey, who's but that we need to get guy in the back? Uh, this bald guy? We just found him on the streets in the corner over here. <laughs> yeah, I hire him by day. Are you taking homeless people? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. These guys were just standing at the end of the driveway. I brought him hey, in to do some work. Hey, that's right. <laughs> this is totally back, baby. Look, she's so wearing good. red. You guys are wearing red. That's it. We're going to do a TCW strong post. That's right. Oh, uh, look, country in, country in, country in. What's up, country in? Who's, who's there from, from this Monica? Look, Caesar, I want to show you this one. Look. Yeah. I don't know if you can see, but this is back when I took the thing. And look at Maddie sticking her tongue in your eyeball right I there. I know. Which is awesome. Look at Maddie. And you have the thing here that says, I love you. Yeah. Maddie. Oh, wow. I want to show everybody that one. That's, that's right in the center of the ranch here. Because that's what it all started. I was you saying, why, why did I chose somebody like Steve? You know, I, I, I you know, in the beginning, you, 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 uh, you didn't have any idea about, you know, dogs, but you had, you have the instincts, you had the passion, and you have the spirit. And so that for me, I was like, okay, this guy, this guy has to be part of the pack. I just, I just, I just have to guide him a little bit, you know? And, yeah. And of course, you, 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 uh, you are a humble person. You are you are a good listener. And I was saying, at least to me, I don't know about Cassie, but with me, <laughs> with, with me, you are humble. Not with Cassie. You 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 you, you know you know you know the uh, respect is very important. You know, very important. So you're very loyal. So all the qualities that a dog have, you have. You know, it's rare to find these days. Huh? It's rare to find these days in people these days is honesty, integrity, loyalty, all those things. And it's something I pride myself on. And I want to be, listen, I always wanted to be part of the pack, obviously, but I knew the right way to do it. And I understood from just taking that first TCW, I was able to understand clearly this was the place for me. This is what I wanted to be part of. I wanted to be part of this mission. And to be able to be, to, to follow you and be in the back with you, it's an amazing experience. I can't, I can't thank you enough for everything. Because I always tell people, like, my life changed literally going to TCW. It wasn't like a thing like, oh, yeah, you learned about dogs and formed a business. No, no, no. That was when I went there thinking I was, I came with Maddie, thinking I was going to learn about how I could be better with Maddie. That's what I wanted to learn about, right? And then I got there realizing, holy shit, this is not about Maddie. This is about me and my Hoboken 1,000 miles per hour thing. <laughs> All my insecurities, my tension, my frustrations, all these things that were that were blocking me from actually developing a deep connection with Maddie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, that that's that's the, and, and you know, and Todd and 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 um and um uh, Yola and um uh, who else Lisa uh, Lisa Heather, yeah, yeah. Heather. I mean it's a small group, but it's a powerful group. You know? Yes. And um Art, Art also, remember Art? Yeah. Yeah, Art, for some reason, um, he, he, it's almost he was hiding behind this silence, this quietness, you know what yes. I mean? To the point that I, I used to say that he was high all the time. 
I know. Uh, and, and, yeah. And, and I so, think he's the only person that when we did pack walk, you were, you said, I think you're, I th- you're, you're almost too calm. You know what I mean? You're too calm. And then yeah. you said, did you smoke a joint before you got here today or something? What happened here? <laughs> yeah. And, and, and that's different, you know, because you're the opposite of art. Oh, totally. You know, totally. You were the opposite of art. Like art, you are, you're not calm. You're passive. Yes. To the point yes. that the animals are, are, are just walking all over you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. but, but the point is to find, is to find the same ingredients, you know? So, so the whole point is when people come to your ranch, when people come to my ranch is we want to, we want to make sure that our team has the, that energy has that element, exactly. has that agreement, you know? Correct. So, so the dogs automatically get the crystals, you know, get, yes. get, yeah, get that energy, that, 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 that power that, that you do without speaking. The animals pick right. it up right away. Like, right. The animals are going to feel safe. They're going to feel peace. They're going to feel love. And then they're going to breathe. Okay. I mean, I, I don't know who these people is, but the energy they project it's really good. And that's the right. beginning of rehab. That's the beginning of connection, you know? So Yeah, I think it was so important what you said when we did the podcast where you talked about how, like, the energy is something of your ranch that you do not mess around with. So that's not something like you can have some toxic people, people out of balance there. That's not something we mess around with. Obviously, people come in as students, and we help them with that. But as part of the intimate pack, and that's what I'm trying to recreate here with our ranch, too, as well is that everybody has to be on the same page and in agreement. I think that's the greatest thing that people can hear is the agreement part. Because without agreement, well, what can we do? And now we finally have agreement in the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Well, you know, we have agreements, but they don't work for the planet. That's right. You know, and, and uh, uh, I always, you know, make, make sure that I honor something that is, that is truth and is, and is painful. Because we all come from a female. We all come from a mom. We all come from a woman, right? But at one point in life, uh, people agree that a woman could never lead. Right. You know, that's, that's, that's the wrong true. agreement. Great point. Yeah, so that's the wrong agreement. Right. Agreement always exists, but it doesn't exist to benefit the bigger picture. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah, because yes. even lazy people have to agree to be lazy, right? If people who do riots have to agree to do a riot. You know, if people, yep. people that practice hate, they, back, they, they agree to be hateful. So yes. that's, why, that's why I always start, I always start with this simple word when I learn the meaning of, in the English word, what does agreement mean? That's mm-hmm. the, okay, so I'm going to let the, the people that speak English, that the word agreement is the most powerful word, word we're going to do together from day one. Right. So let's agree that we don't know. Which is so important. You know, because we have been loving right. unconsciously. So dog people are amazing people, you know? Dog people mean well, dog people have the empathy and the compassion, you know? I mean, dog, dog rescuers, you work with the, rex, the rescuers. The, the love that those people have, the sacrifice that those people do, is incredible, but it's toxic. Yeah, very toxic. You see? So, so, yes. so the thing is, they just don't know how to consciously love. And that's where the empathy comes in. That's right. That, I, I, if you want to help somebody, and now that you know that they don't know, you can't start with knowledge. You have to start with empathy. Which you know? gives you the patience then to the, be able to help them. Empathy and, and compassion. So empathy and compassion yeah. is if we're going to heal the world. So if you're going to heal a dog, if you're going to heal a human, you have to start with the ingredient number one. Empathy, compassion. That automatically will give you patience. If you don't have empathy and compassion, people are going to say, I hate people. How many dog trainers you know that they say, I love working with dogs because they have empathy and compassion. But then they don't transfer empathy and compassion to the human. Humans are the ones that need it the most. That's right. Yeah. If you hate people, you're in the wrong industry. That's for sure. (laughs) It's all about the people. Number one, you know, from a business perspective, those are the ones that's going to pay you. Yes. Do you know what I'm saying? So you have to actually be respectful to the fact yeah. that that's the person that keeps food and water and shelter for you. Right. You know, never right. bite the hand that feeds you. That's a rule. Right. That's a rule, right. you know? So, so, so the point is that we don't just have to have empathy and compassion for others, because we have to have empathy and compassion for us. Yes. Because 
people don't know. That's right. You know what I mean? So when you don't know, you got to go through the transformation. So what happens, you know, when we see people transforming, it hurts. People, it does. People cry. People get angry. Yes. People get frustrated. People want to throw the towel. They say, I don't want yes. to do, do this anymore. I, you know what I mean? Because we, we help them to face their pain so they can get rid of it. They want to. They want to go. It's almost like the fight flight nature of the human is to just to not go towards that. It's like a, that. That feels like discomfort, so we have to stay away from it. Yeah. But that's where all the juice is to that's, move past that and move forward. That's where consciousness comes. Correct. Listen, nobody born, nobody on this earth born wanted to be unstable. Nobody. Right. Nobody on this earth wanted to be uh, that doesn't have don't have the knowledge to trust themselves, to respect themselves, to love themselves. Nobody wants that. That is something right. that culturally, community, and family teaches you. Even TV teaches you to be unconscious, you know, and like, aim for like money, fame, and power. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know, you can be this. You can be that. You can do it. You know, and flexing and this whole thing. But All that. it can take you to that world. But once you get there, and then what? Then what? So that's why. And, I, and I've been lucky enough right now to see that from, from seeing these high net worth, the famous, the celebrities. And seeing them thinking that they got to, not all, by the way, of course, but some who have got to that level of money, power, fame, who are still extremely unhappy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anxious, frustrated, tense, nervous, whatever it is. Yeah. Well, thinking, just, but, but thinking that's where it's going to be. Just you know? that, just that I was sharing, you know, I was sharing uh, that I'm working on, on freedom from insecurity, fear, and anger, right? Because coming from Sinaloa, Mexico, for those who watch Narcos, you know, Narcos, Mexico, that's where I grew up. That, yeah. Those were my superheroes. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Those were my superheroes. That the environment that those people create is not safe, it's not peaceful, it's not loving. It's yeah, not, no, that's for it's sure. It's not. The first thing they no. do is take away your, your certainty. That's right. Because they govern, they govern with, with no empathy, compassion. They don't govern no. with the spirituality, your pursuit of your happiness. They, they, they can wipe you off, they can kill you, your instincts, you disappear. You know what I mean? And, and yes. education is very, very minimum. Yeah. You know, so if you survive in that place, I mean, it's just, it's just a, a, a God, um, it's a miracle. I'm just saying it's Yeah, for sure. So I grew up with that, you know? I grew up, I grew up yeah. with that. So that kept, that kept me away from me feeling free the way I feel at the ranch. To me, the ranch, it's a place where I disconnect freedom. from all this crap. You know? It's freedom. So I want, I want people to, to see the dog that way. So if you don't have a ranch, don't worry. Just use your dog so you automatically, when you see him, think about calm, confident, love, and joy. Don't think about the dog, you know, misbehaving. Think about him reminding you to be calm, confident, love, and joy, to give you the, the, uh, the, the tendencies to do exercise, discipline, affection. Rules, but right. do that first. Right, you see right. I mean? Don't see the dog uh, as, as just affection first. See the dog as conscious way of loving. What does that's, that mean? I think that's really powerful. What does so that powerful, mean? It means, it means that you have to address the body, exercise. It means that you're going right. to address the mind, mental stimulation, you know? How are you going to challenge the mind, nose, eyes, ears? How, do you, how right. are you going to make him drain, you know, his mind, his creativity? And then after he achieved calm surrender, give him a lot of love. Make and the more we do body mind, the more that it makes the affection part available for people. I think people don't even realize that part either. That they think it's like, well, I got to do all this. First of all, it's not doing all that. It's it's the the joy of being able to understand that and be able to do that because those the dogs are the teachers. I can't explain so how much by learning from your guidance to be able to understand what dogs were actually teaching me as opposed to being like, what's wrong with these dogs? What's wrong with this dog? What's wrong with the chickens at the ranch right. <laughs> that, that I make go everywhere? Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Nothing's wrong with them. It's right. what's in here. They're teaching me about myself. Right. And that's the open-mindedness and the self-awareness where it all starts. That's right. You know? So, the, so then the, 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 the second thing, which, you know, once everybody said, do we agree that the world don't know? And everybody said, and then it takes like five minutes for people to say, yes. yeah, 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 exactly. I want I want to hear yeah. people. You know what I mean? I want to I want to hear yeah. people. I want to feel people, right? And they said, do we agree that the world don't know? Yes. Okay. There's three laws. Then we move into three laws, right? Mother nature law, man law, 
a universe yeah. law. Well, Correct. this one, the, the Mother Nature law and the universe law were here before men came in. That's right. Okay, so that's going to be, uh, is, that's where we're supposed to respect, not try to that's change it. Like nose, eyes, ears is the law. That's it. Animals are instinctual is the law. Correct. You know what I mean? So when, yeah. we, when we work against the law and then the wrong side of it happens, just like if you, if you speed in a, in a place that is, that is 35 and you go 100, you're breaking the law. Yeah. So when people, instead of doing nose, eyes, ears, they do ears, eyes, no nose, you're breaking the law. So when, right. so when people don't take in consideration peace, you know, safe peace and love by being calm, you're breaking the law. Now what you created is an excited animal. In the, and that excitement can lead him to fight, flight, avoid. Correct. So because you want to connect with instincts and everybody wants to connect with the heart of a dog, but instincts is the way to the heart of a dog. That's right. You know, That's right. instincts is part of his spirituality. That's his pursuit of him. That's who he is. His instincts, his spirit, and his heart. That's how it works. You know, when... I think that's a huge part, though, of like what, what, what people coming to TCW is that it's not just about only dogs to be able to see multiple species to understand what you're talking about right now. Right. It's not just coming with a dog. You can go see Lorenzo the llama. You can go see the emus. We can see the goats. We can see the sheep. We can see the chickens. There's a, the, tur the turtles. I yeah. mean, it's one thing after another. Of course, the psychology switches from each species, but the energy is all there. It's all there to understand. You know what I want to ask you is like, obviously for me, uh, it changed my life, the whole thing. And being able to see the transformation, I've been doing it now with you for what? It's over seven years now, which is crazy to think about, yeah. by the way. But you look uh, better. Seven years. You look better. What? You look better. I look better. I look more healthy now. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> no, I, I, I dropped about 40 pounds since then, but it's all good. Um, yeah, but, but what, and I, obviously my favorite part is seeing the transformations from the students who are there, but what would you say is like your favorite thing about TCW and having the people at the ranch? Like what's, what, what was your, cause like we always talk and you always say that, that TCW is one of your most favorite things is being at the ranch and having everybody come, the pack, the community vibe and having all the team there and everything. But what would you say is your favorite part of it? Well, you know, spiritual, spirituality is values, meaning, and purpose, right? I love to see people living in the moment. I love to see people really being true to their honesty, integrity, loyalty to themselves. You know what I mean? Like, I'm doing this for me. I, yes. You know what I mean? And I'm doing, not only I'm doing this for me, I'm doing it with people that are doing the same thing. So the, yes. the feeling intensifies. So that, mm -hmm. that puts people in the pursuit of happiness. Right. You know, because people that come to, 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 to look for us or to, or to be with us, they, they want to see their dog happy. Right. But they forget about their happiness. And it's so interesting. Like, why? It's so interesting that people will not do things for themselves, but then they'll go do it for their dog. Because you're being told that. You, you're being told right. that to look outside of you besides looking inside of you. That's what, yeah. you, that's what you become. That's, that's what the, that's what the people in power want you to be because they want, they want you to buy their products mm -hmm. so you can achieve happiness. Buy the car, buy the house, buy the jewelry. All of that is, is good, but you have to start with natural, simple, profound. Right. Okay, that's why, uh, you know, we always put the video of the Aboriginal people. We put the video of people in the Amazon. We put the, you know, right. the people that go and take the piece of the, of the meat of the lions. You know what I right. mean? Right. So how does these people achieve to take the piece of this Walderby with this with this outfit that they're wearing and sandals with a pack it's of skinny as hell, by the way. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that, that video automatically speaks for itself. Yes. You know, can you tell people so they can watch it? Tell them so they can YouTube it. Yeah, I, I got. I'll, I'll put it in the in the um, in, in my stories after if people want to see what it was. Yeah. Peter can. I'll tell Peter to put it on there too. Yeah. So, so yeah. that's what that's what I mean about natural, simple, profound. You know what I okay. mean? Let, let's make yeah. sure we don't forget ourselves, because right. at the moment you forget yourself, and then the dog knows that you don't feel happy. That's right. We're the only species that follow unstable leaders. So if we're not happy, we're gonna be unstable. We're gonna be sad. So in the absence of happiness, is sadness is. It's anxiety, it's anger, it's frustration, it's hate, it's, 
is all the wrong energy is going to come mm -hmm. in inside of you. You know, so, so if we don't change our energies, we can't have the off-leash experience. We can't have the assessing and evaluating like certainly I know how my dog feels and I know how right. my dog feels and I know how the llama feels. Like mm -hmm. to do things with, without you questioning yourself, it's a lot of, it's a lot of happiness. Yes. You know what I mean? But I, think that's, I think that's the huge part though about the ranch too is, is how, how you created it and now we followed it to allow people to feel that vulnerability that they can feel vulnerable and not get judged like they would in the outside world what we were talking right. about with the externally. Like who's going to say something? If I'm feeling nervous, are you going to make, someone's going to make fun of you. No, 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 no. We don't do any of that stuff. That's all for, we're, we're there for the support system to show them that you can be 100% vulnerable, find your true self, and then it's just the beginning steps of growth towards finding your higher self. And I, it's, it, I can't even say enough. How, I'm, I'm probably repeating myself, but I can't explain how much because I don't get this opportunity all the time to talk to everybody. And it's to, to explain to everybody how much my life changed from the guy that you saw seven years ago that came in like with a total, like it was almost like when I think about that person, it's like, who is that guy? Like, ah, I remember that guy. Like he was an old friend of mine almost. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like crazy, crazy as hell to think about that stuff. So, and, and I hope, I, first of all, you've been dropping absolute bombs of knowledge on here and wisdom, which I think is so amazing. But I can't recommend people enough to actually make, take the leap of faith like I did when I was like, I remember, my, first of all, when I found you, I think I told you this story. My mom says to me, hey, you should put on Oprah. And I'm like, why in the world would I ever put on Oprah? But all right, put on Oprah. And she goes, uh, this Mexican guy is coming on with his pit bull to meet Oprah's aggressive dog. And I'm like, what? I got to see this shit. So I put it on and I'm expecting to see like chaos and all this stuff. And then you started talking about energy. And I, first of all, was like, damn, I give that guy credit because he just told Oprah that your dog sees you as a follower. And I'm like, holy shit, this guy's got balls. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so, but that was the beginning of it. And then I, and then I just consumed your content and I couldn't, it was just like light bulbs, light bulbs, light bulbs, light bulbs going off. I saw the course and I said, you know what, I, this, it was the first times I used instincts, I think, in my, probably at, at, a, at such a deep level in my life, but I didn't even realize at the time. I swiped the credit card, basically said, I'm going to take this leap of faith and go. And that was just the, the faith, the spirituality part of it, too. And I went, it was the best decision I ever made. So I can't recommend people enough to come out to experience it. Because we talked about doing the video calls on a live we did on mine. And yeah, it's great. I can help people with some tech tools and techniques and stuff like that. But I can't really feel it as much. And I don't think people can feel you as much as they can in person when they're actually at the ranch to feel the spirituality of the, of the just, the, just the way that place feels. I tell you all the time, that's my like detox. And now I luckily have my own ranch yeah. thanks to you, man, right? But, but yes, yes, here in Jersey, we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff that's, in the future hey, here. That's so. another leap of faith. Yes. You know, that's yes. another leap of faith. You, you just went and bought a, a, piece of, a, a piece of land, obviously, you, your home is beautiful, but uh, it, that, that, that takes the same belief, that takes the same passion, that takes the same uh, instincts of like, this is the right thing to do. You know, right. this, this is about me being happy. This is a, I understand right. the money, money is a factor, but once you generate, once you generate that calm, confident, love and joy, the outcome is gonna be great. So, so right. this is, you know, what you're doing, what you, what you did with the ranch is what we're saying, do it with a dog, start with a dog. Right. Start with a dog. You know, you want to change the aggression. You want to change the fear. You want to change the anxiety. You want to change whatever you, you, side effect you, you have. It's not because the dog wants to live that way. It's because what he's saying is our life is not balanced. Correct. Once you balance your energy, your activities, and your environment, the outcome is going to be calm, surrender, happy, go lucky. That's it. It is that simple. Somebody, somebody just wrote some. Somebody just wrote something. And said, "Well, for some people that have a past uh, experience, uh, negative past experience, we all have." Oh yeah. It, it, yes. that, let's agree that no one pretty much has like an amazing childhood and amazing right. thing because yeah. because yeah. the world is on, the world the world uh, the, the biggest the biggest energy that the world nurture is fear and hate. Right. So even if That's you're not nice. a hateful yeah, person, money. even if you're not right. a hateful person, even if you're not a, a fearful person, the fact that the world produces more hate and fear is going to affect you just because you live in a planet 
the, 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 this energy is like smoke. So if you live like in a place with smoke, you're gonna stay. You don't have to produce smoke. Right. You know it's just in the environment. It's just you're in the environment. You're in the environment. That's why I, uh, uh, I think yesterday or the day before I was saying, listen, uh, uh, there is three energies in the world: it, love, fear, and hate. How do you know mm -hmm. that? Well, let's look at the pit bulls. Some people love pit bulls. Some people are afraid of pit bulls. Some people hate pit bulls. Guess what? The people that are afraid of pit bulls and hate pit bulls, we can just give them the knowledge. They don't have to get a pit bull. They don't even have to love pit bulls. They just have to understand that it's not the pit bull. That's right. It's the way understand. they think. It's the way they think right. that it's actually hurting them. It's their perception. Their perception. Yeah. Let's change your perception. I don't need you to have a dog. I just don't need you to live with fear and hate. Right. So that way you raise not good for you in any way. Yeah. It won't hurt you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it yeah. Won't not hurt you. It won't hurt right. you. The opposite. It will absolutely help make you feel healthy, makes you, you know, provide that to your to your family, be able to, to teach that to your family. You know what I mean? So don't do it for yeah. you, do it for your family. Just don't right. live with fear and hate. It's no need for that. I love what you said, too, about the world being unbalanced because we have fear and hate all the way up here and love is down here. Yeah. That it's our job to start. Let's start adding some more here so we can start going. At least give it love a chance. Mother Nature normal again. At least give a love a chance. Yeah, you know, give it a fighting chance. Look, right. in any relationship, you know, we, we both have a relationship. We both have a, a, a woman to love, right? So when, when insecurity is higher than love, it's out of balance. Big time. When lack of knowledge is higher than love, it's out of balance. Do you understand? When frustration is higher than love, it's out of balance. That's what we're saying. Right. Just give love Certainly. a chance so at least can, can, can have a, a, a better fight. Right. You know yeah, I, mean? I know. We've been handicapping love for, for forever, and that's why I think the world... Listen, I have my own theories on all this stuff that's going on and everything, but I think this is like literally like a mother nature reset yes. to remind everybody like, hey, we need you. Like I, I posted something there that mother nature sent us all to our rooms to think about this for a little bit and see where we were going wrong. And now let's maybe take the moment to start looking within and start doing calm, confident, love and joy as opposed to money, power, fame. Because if you took my two, my life, I was money, power, fame guy. I was like, I need to go on Wall Street, da, 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 make money, be rich as hell and all that. But then I was, would have been one of these guys who whatever, but now I'm in calm, confident, love, joy. And I can't explain, I'm, I'm one who, who's trying to tell people that like I've been both and calm, confident, love, joy is a lot more happy to be, a lot more fun to be in, trust me. It's not even close. At the end of the day, at the end of the day is we have to be able to, to, to understand the animals don't really care about money, fame, and power, right? Money, animals, yeah. animals care about natural, simple, profound. All right. right, so this is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is let's master natural, simple, profound, right? right? So when we have money, fame, and power, we can be happy without it. Right. You see, so that way right. you're happy either or. Because right now, so right now, people, people are, are, their focus is money, fame, and power, right? right? How do you become an entrepreneur? How do you do this? How do you do that? And yeah, how yeah. How do you get this right. the, 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 the house at the beach? How did you get, you know, how did you get this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So this is, uh, this is available to people right now. It's like, you know, rich, rich yeah. dad, poor dad. And so, all right, that is great. But in the dog world? That has no meaning whatsoever. So Zero. dogs have a much healthy, helpful, positive, spiritual meaning because what they're saying to you is, listen, let's pretend there is no money, fame, and power. Let's, let's, let's be happy with natural, simple, profound. That's it. That's it. That's yeah. it. Let's begin with that. So your trust, your respect, and your love is solid. Your honesty, your integrity, yes. your, your loyalty is solid. Your pursuit of simple right. happiness and is solid. You live in the moment, solid. When you, when you go for money, fame, and power, past and future plays a big role. Big time. Because you have to like, big time. Well, what am I going to do five years from now? You don't know if you're going to be alive. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? You don't know you're going to be alive. So animals live in the moment. They don't plan for the future. I'm not saying that it's not, that it's not good to plan. What I'm saying is also good to live in the moment. Right. 
Rio's having a good time. Is Rio yeah. wants to do this. She, like, she doesn't <laughs> like any, any stick. She doesn't like. If you put a broom here. She doesn't like it. You have to give she, it if you put a broom, yeah. look. <laughs> that's what you're saying about cats. That's so that's how you keep the place clean. I understand. Yeah, so you got Rio to be your cleaning lady. We got all, it. We all yeah. in this shit together. That's right. That's right. You know, what I was saying when you were saying that too, it, it sounded like, if you tell me, correct me if I'm wrong, but Con Confidence, Love, Joy, and Money, Power, Fame. There's nothing wrong with Money, Power, Fame, but you need to have this part first, then this. And I, I actually did a, I was talking about, I did something with a puppy the other day, and I was saying that you have dog psychology and dog training. I, listen, if, if I had to pick one, I'll take dog psychology without the dog training, not dog training without the dog psychology. Yeah. But, it's, just, it's very similar but to we, what I was we, saying. We, yeah, I mean, I have rehabilitated a lot of police dogs, a lot of, you know, yeah. bomb dogs, a lot of dogs are actually well trained. military dogs. They're trained. Right. They're just, they, they just become a, a, a robot. Right, you know? machine. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, when they come back from the war, they, 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 they develop separation anxiety, or they develop yes. post-traumatic stress, post-traumatic stress, right. you right? So, you know, if, if you guys want to watch uh, any of the episodes where I have worked with dogs that come, come back from military, uh, you know, uh, what is it called when they, when they send them? Uh, deploy. Deploy, military deploy, yeah, mm -hmm. they come back to America, they, they come back with post-traumatic stress. So why is that? Yep. Because they lost their natural, simple, profound. That's it. It's almost happening to people too, though, right? Well, what you say? To a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, we know we see that the people can go, can go from humans to a soldier, but not from soldier to a human. Right. You see, so so when you lose your human side, you lose your natural, simple, profound way of being. Mm. Yeah, you, you can become trained. Doesn't mean you retain natural, simple, profound. Such a great point. You know what I mean? Such a good point. Yep. Hey, say hi to everybody over there. Say hi yes. to Cassie. Cassie. Yeah. Caesar says hello. Hi. Hi, Cassie. <laughs> I'm not reading my comments. She said you're not reading her comments. She's mad at you. Oh, well, what, 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 <laughs> Cassie, I, I speak English. I can't read it well. <laughs> <laughs> Cassie likes to talk a lot of so shit. My, just, so just, my just, apology, Cassie, uh, uh, but, but, I, uh, but I gave good points. Okay. Oh, it's all about <laughs> respecting women. Yes, that's right. <laughs> good go. point. Um, well, thank you for having me on. This was amazing. I wanted to, again, please recommend everybody to come visit us at the ranch and have a once in a lifetime experience. It, it changed my life for the better. I can't thank you enough. You're an amazing mentor. I always call you the legend because I've never been any, met anybody and I don't talk, you know me, I don't bullshit. I, I've never met anybody as connected with nature as you so, and the, how generous you are with your information, even doing this, like, from someone with the amount of knowledge and wisdom that you have to spend time for free to give people this information, it just, again, proves that what we're trying to do is more about the mission and changing the world and making, what, better humans, better planet. That's our goal. Yeah. So, again, thank you so much for everything. Yeah, Appreciate well, it, Caesar. Leadership is direction, protection, and love. So, you know, you, you, you can only be a good leader or a good role model if you make everybody else around you better than you or as good as it's you or, or, or happy. You know what I mean? That's, that, right. that's the natural, simple, profound part. That's the part that I believe. That's, that's the part that I know. It drives me. That's the part that makes me wake up every day. I see opportunities yes. everywhere. You know, I'm an immigrant. So I'm always thinking about endless possibilities. I'm always thinking about, you know, it's, uh, the land of, of uh, opportunities, you know. I, yes. There is no more American than me. I know you love yeah. you, you got that flag outside your house, but. And but, guess what? I live this. I was an American. Huh? I was in America. I was born in America, and I learned how to see the land of opportunity from a Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <it is. laughs> Sad. You know what I mean? Thank you, brother. That's amazing. It. Thank you. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful five days. Uh, we did it from my house. I hope you felt uh, my love. I hope you felt uh, my pursuit of my happiness. I hope, I hope you find your pursuit of, of your happiness. Listen, regardless of whatever past uh, happened into our lives, I'm just saying, let's begin with our dogs. And then we move into the bigger picture, which is us with humans. It's, uh, I'm not saying it's easy. I'm just saying we have to start at one point. And with dogs, you can tangibly see transformation. 
because they don't live in the past and don't, they don't want to know about the future. I know that some of those might have traumatic experience, but once your energy starts changing, once your activities start changing, once your environment start changing, you're going to see automatically the response of dogs. That's why, you know, when you see a dog that is unstable in people's home, the first thing I say, well, you know, let me just remove him from your house because he needs a break from your energy, from your activities and, and from the environment. So then as soon as I bring it to the ranch, that dog begins to change. That dog begins to change. Obviously, if, that, if, that, if those, the owner of the dog or the family of that dog, they don't change their energy, they don't change their habits, they don't change the environment, that dog is gonna go right back to his old self, right? So it's not because he wants to go back, it's because he has no other choice. So if we change our energy, calm, confident, love, and joy, if we change our activities, exercise, discipline, affection. Discipline is not punishment. Discipline is just to stay focused on something that is positive. So I gave the example of the, of the walk. Put the leash all the way in the top. If you don't like the leash all the way in the top, put, the, put a whole thing. Keep the nose away from the ground. Keep the brain very proud and, and give a dog a long walk. That's going to change. That's going to change a lot how he feels about you because you're going to ask him to be in a follower state. That's going to give him so much understanding about that you can now set rules, boundaries, limitations, right? And then once he exercised and he worked for that mission that you just gave him, now you give water, food, affection, bed, watching TV with the dog, that level of love is going to taste even better. It's going to have a more profound understanding. My clients do affection, affection, affection and they still need me. So not because you overshower a dog with a whole bunch of affection, he becomes balanced. You, we have to make sure that we drain their physical energy, we challenge their mind, find the pursuit of happiness, and then we give them affection, body, mind, heart. And then of course your home has to feel beautiful, structured, and clean. That's gonna give you so much feedback. That's your home is your temple. So where you stand have to feed energy back to you. I hope you enjoyed these five days with me. I had a, a great time. Thank you for nurturing my spirit. Thank you for nurturing my heart. Thank you for letting me keep speaking English. It's not my first language, but I do it with all my heart. So thank you so much. And I hope to see you soon. Please stay safe. Please give yourself a lot of love. Please trust yourself. Please respect yourself. And, and once you achieve that, make sure you give it back to somebody else that needs it. Love you guys. Thank you so much.